I love working with couples and their money. And I've been working recently with a couple called James and Anna. They came to see me because they love each other. Like they really have a special relationship. But the one thing that comes between them is their money. She wants to get all her finances sorted. She wants to make a financial plan and she wants them to be growing as a couple so that when they get to retirement, they've got a nice pot of cash to retire on and they lead a nice, happy, happy financial life. That's what she was after. He, on the other hand, he works really hard, brings the money in, but he has little or no interest in the money whatsoever. Now, First of all, you'd sort of think, that's okay, why doesn't she just get on with it? But the problem with that is, is that yes, she can just get on with it, but after a while, you know, it's lonely doing job, a job like that by yourself. And after a while, she thinks, why do I have to do this all on my own? Surely this is our future. I want to share this with James, but he just doesn't seem interested. So there she is working out all the spreadsheets and getting it all tickety-poo, showing him the information and he's either turns his back on her or sort of shows very small amount of interest and then walks away. Now, it, it happened during the last lockdown that their income was reduced quite dramatically. So all of a sudden, their budget's just shot to bits and they're overspending. And so Anna starts to get a little bit alarmed and she starts to get fearful. James doesn't really care. There's still money coming in. They've got savings anyway. Why not spend those? But Anna really needs to have the budget and to be able to keep on track for their fantastic financial future. Why is that? Why can't she just give in? Because we've, I've talked about money stories before. We all have our money stories. Anna's money story is that she fears that money will be taken away from her. She fears that they're gonna be left with nothing. There are all sorts of pieces of evidence that confirm that in her money story. The thing is, what she's not doing is she's not telling James about her fears. She's just living with it and just wanting him to conform. When I was able to speak with her and really encourage her to open up to her partner, things really changed. And she found out that he had needs too. He has needs, they both have needs. But the problem was they were butting up against each other because neither of them were opening up. What's it like in your relationship? Is this how it is for you? If it is, and you'd like some help, give me a call.